my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me Close the door What's up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number 125 125, holy freaking shit Listen, this every week on Steve Says, or every episode of Steve Says, we're, we're not necessarily telling you the things you want to hear, but the shit that you need to fucking hear. And we're going to get down and dirty in some of the stuff we're going to talk about today. So stay freaking tuned. And as always, some people will hate, but most can relate. We are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second of every episode. Steve Says is a live show on how to have a no badass mindset guiding you to adapt overcome and destroy the motherfucking obstacles that are preventing success in your health, in your fitness, in your family, in your business, in your finances, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms. We're focusing on the mind, the body, and the business. This is all about having a role model mindset, how to operate to dominate with discipline, energy, confidence, being an action taker, a risk taker, a bold move maker, and being your freak fucking self throughout the entire process. Today we're talking about one of my favorite words, my favorite F word in the world. And let's have you up on different screens here. So I'm going to see if I can see any, any comments while you're going along. So feel free to join in the conversation. I'm just pulling up on some screens. So my favorite F word in the freaking world. And let me tell you, this F word is not the one you might think it, it is. It's not my f other favorite one that I may or may not drop the F-bomb here and there. And it's not even in the project. In the project, you know, we have the four F-bombs, which are the family, the fitness, the finances, and faith. It's not even those four that I'm talking about when I'm talking about my favorite F-word. And it's not even the fifth F-bomb in the project that once you achieve some significant level of success in your family, fitness, finance, and faith, all four, missing none of them, a four for four, you finally have some fucking fulfillment. And that's not the F word we're talking about here either. Let's see. I already got a question here. And this is perfect. This, is gonna, this, this fits right in. The question right off the bat is, what were your biggest fears when you were younger? Well, first biggest fear when I was younger was that I was going to end up becoming just like my father, who I learned everything. I learned about the discipline, the energy, the confidence, being the action taker, being the bold move maker, the risk taker, how to be a role model dad from my father by looking at him and thinking I want to do everything the opposite way of what I saw as a kid. So that was one of the first things. The other thing, which I think a lot and adults still struggle with this shit, is worry about what the fuck other people think about you, what they're going to think about you, what they're saying about you, and living your life according to what the fuck other people are thinking, doing, and saying, and it's not even your true fucking life. So right there's a couple of the fears right there. So worrying about, and even to this day, you see fucking adults, like 90% of social media and Instagrams and all this other, all this other shit is motherfuckers that are only doing what they think they're supposed to be doing. They're posting their fucking little motivational quotes and all this other stuff. They're talking about gratitude and this and that. And they're not fucking practicing any of it. They don't fucking believe in it. They're not actually living that fucking way. Like, all these books, don't fucking read a book if you're not going to actually implement like a motherfucker. If you're not going to actually be the book. Don't read a book. Be a fucking book. Like, be it. Be it. Live it. Embody it. Put it fucking out there. Stop worrying about what the fuck everyone else is doing and conforming to the bullshit. Live life on your own motherfucking terms. So there is a caveat to that of saying don't give a fuck what anyone thinks about you. You certainly should give a fuck what people that actually matter think about you. You should not give a fuck what the people that don't fucking matter think about you. And this isn't even what we're talking about, but it's a great question here on the Instagram. So if you have any questions, put them on there. I'll try to catch them as we're going. It kind of scrolls pretty fast and it's a little, it's a bunch of little screens around. But today we're talking about the F word. It's not the family, not fitness, not finance, not faith, not fulfillment. It's motherfucking freak freedom. Freedom is the word we're talking about. Freedom. 
And it's something that's fucking lacking nowadays. Like, there, there's shit. I did, I did a post. It was a picture of a post I shared. It was of Marcus Aurelius. I don't even remember what the post was. On fucking Instagram. And it got flagged and taken down. And their fact checkers saw it and said, it's not proven that Marcus Aurelius said this quote. So they took it down. Like, what the fuck? So they sent their fucking little geek squad nerd fucking fact checkers back 2,000 years to, to see the videotape of Marcus Aurelius. I said, shut the fuck up. It's a fucking quote. It's a motivational quote. It's whatever. It's, it's a philosophical quote more than, any, more than even motivational. It's a it's quote about discipline, probably. Like, just shut the fuck up and accept it. Really, who gives a shit who said it? When I go do a fucking push-up in a workout, and I say I'm doing push-ups, do the fact checker say, well, you didn't invent the push-ups and technically it's not called a push-up because someone once called it a press-up, so we can't let you show the push-up. Like, I didn't invent the fucking push-up. I don't know who invented the fucking push-up and I don't give credit to the person that invented the fucking push-up every fucking time I do a push-up. Think about it. Victor Crawford, what's up, freak show? Project graduate of class 003? I think you were three. Am I correct? Either three, if it's not three, it was four. I think it was three. Fucking savage Victor Crawford out in New Mexico. What's up, freak show? But we're talking about freedom. We're talking about being who the fuck you want to be. Not who the fucking world wants to be. We're talking about being your fucking self. Not who anyone else, not your fucking teachers, not your parents, not fucking the president, not the social media, not your friends, your fucking neighbors. No one the fuck else. So I was right, zero, zero, 003. You know, I, I, up until class 10, I knew every single graduate exactly what class they were. After 10, it started getting a little fucking crazy. We had that one class with like 24 graduates and they fucked it all up. Up until that point, I knew every single graduate, every class. Now we're close to 200 graduates of the project. But Victor Crawford, an OG, fucking brute, savage, servant motherfucker right there, class 003. Now a couple of years ago, graduating the project. But we're talking back onto freedom. We're talking about don't be who social media wants to be, not your parents want to be, not your teachers, your neighbors, your friends, or the fucking actors or some motherfucking football player or, or basketball player or any of this other bullshit. Like, if you don't exercise your personal freedom and your own personal self-expression and you don't end up showing that to the people around you, especially your fucking kids, guess what? You're going to have some fucking rapper or actor or a fucking douchebag basketball player fucking raising your kids. So good luck with that shit. Good luck with that shit. Freedom. Let's go back to freedom. Freedom. If you think about it, happiness, motivation, whatever the fuck you want, uh, fulfillment, are all fueled by fucking freedom to be who the fuck you want to be. All, none of those things exist. You can't, you're not going to have happiness. You're not going to be motivated. You're not going to have fucking discipline. Probably not going to have success. You might have some success, but it's going to be bullshit, fraudulent ass motherfucker success. But you're, you're not going to have any of that shit. You're not going to have fulfillment if you're not fucking free to be who the fuck you are, who you want to be, and, and living your life according to your terms. Like, show me someone who's overwhelmed, stressed, anxiety, and I will show you a motherfucker that's lacking personal freedom. In one way or the other, lack of personal freedom. Whether in their job, they can't make their own fucking decisions. They're just being a little bitch. Like, oh my God. Don't even get me started on the, the men I talked to about, about the project. Dude today told me, I can't do anything without talking to my wife first. He told me this in a call. I can't do anything without talking to my wife first. Talk about a lack of freedom. It's like, no, we need to have good communication. So I have to talk to my wife before I do anything. It's a, it's a sign of respect for my wife. No, you dumb motherfucker. That's a sign that she has zero respect for your dumb ass. Because your wife's not looking for another fucking son, a child, to come and ask permission. She's looking for a husband, a man, a fucking leader who's going to take charge and make fucking decisions like a fucking grown-up that you are supposed to be. Not a little man-child with bitch tits coming and asking for permission to go and do something. Hey, uh, mom, I want to go to this, this thing and roll around the mud with a bunch of men and I really want to make myself better. Is it okay if I go do this? He's going to fucking slap you. Of course not. The exact reasons why you need the motherfucking project are the reasons that are going to keep you away from the project and you're going to stay a two or a fucking three on a scale of 10. Having to ask permission. Literally telling me I can't do anything without Talking to my wife first. Like, holy fuck, are you in the second motherfucking grade? 
That is the exact opposite of this freedom that we're talking about. It's fucking crazy. Freedom will, will free up, will give you fucking energy and spirit for motherfucking life and energy and emotion for shit that actually matters. So you're not wasting time and mental fatigue on a bunch of bullshit. And there's no greater fucking freedom than the freedom of self-expression, self-discipline, self-awareness. That's the ultimate fucking freedom. That's how you live life on your own fucking terms. That's how you fucking do it. And listen, side note, side note here. We got to we have this little side note down on the, on the side. If you are, if, if who you are, like I say, be who you want to be and be who you are and be yourself. Listen, if who you are is a fucking whiny little complaining little fucking bitch that needs to go ask your mama, I mean your wife, for permission to fucking do everything, do not fucking be yourself. Go work on yourself and level the fuck up and then be yourself. But don't be yourself if you're that whiny little man child bitch. Think about it. Freedom. Demonstrate your freak freedom. I call it freak freedom. Do what you want, how you want, when you want. You need to do what you you fucking want to do, what you need to do, what you fucking deserve to do, what you're fucking called to do, not what anyone else is fucking telling you or calling you to do. Fuck that. Fuck that. Set your own goals. Set your own dreams. Your fucking higher calling. Not what other fucking people have set for you. And, And in the freak, everything's an acronym. Uh, us bonehead fucking military guys, we everything has to fucking have an acronym. So freak has an acronym. And the F in freak stands for freedom. That's what the F in the freak stands for. Fucking freedom. Freedom to be yourself. Freedom to say, fuck them all. Freedom to say, fuck what anyone thinks of you. Again, at least the people who don't fucking matter would think of you. But absolutely you should give about a fuck what the people, the certain people think of you. The select few that do matter. But freedom to do what makes you happy, motherfucker. Not someone else. Freedom to live life on your own fucking terms. You are a unique freak. You have a freaking mind of your own. You need to start using it. Start thinking for your fucking self. That is freedom. That is self-expression. Start thinking for your fucking self. Live life your fucking way. Whatever makes you happy. On your own fucking terms. Every day should be motherfucking Independence Day. Motherfucking 4th of July, fireworks in the sky. Every fucking day should be that. Not one day a year we talk about freedom and independence. Every motherfucking day should be. In the product, in the project, freedom means that fulfillment. It means fulfillment in your family, fulfillment in your fitness, fulfillment in your finances and your faith. It means being able to, freedom is being able and having the awareness to be able to kill your inner bitch and unleash the fucking beast that's in you. That's what freedom is in the project. Taking your fucking life to the next level. Getting, getting, getting your mind in the correct state of fucking consciousness. Being optimistic and, and fucking motivated and disciplined and energetic and confident and a hardened ass motherfucker. That's freedom. To be able to operate to dominate like that, that is fucking freedom. Becoming the type of man that your son wants to become, the type of man that your daughter would want to marry, the type of man that your motherfucking spouse is going to actually respect. That is fucking freedom. That's what the modern day night is. Not the little bitch ass that waddles up like a fucking penguin, tugging on mommy's fucking skirt. Hey, can I go do the project? Can I go do the project? Like, motherfucker. Of course she's going to say no. You don't deserve to do it. Because you only got the balls to fucking do it for yourself. You got to go ask for permission. No, you cannot do it, bitch, ass. No, you can't. So I want to ask you, after what we've said today, the way we've already described this, are you living your personal freak freedom or are you like that little bitch ass man child tugging on mommy's skirt, aka his wife's skirt, asking for permission to do anything? The fucking dude, I can't get over it, I'm going to keep repeating it. The fucking dude told me, I need to go to my wife Before I do anything, a grown fucking man, a business owner, a father came and told me this. He just goes, wait for it, does anything or else, oh, I'll be in big trouble. What? What the fuck are you talking about? You'll be in big trouble. Holy fucking shit. That dude ain't living life on his own terms. That dude ain't marching to the beat of his own fucking drum. That dude ain't doing shit that's going to make him happy. That dude's certainly not the type of man that he would want his daughter to marry. He's certainly not the type of man 
that he'd want his son to become. And certainly not the type of motherfucking man that's wife is going to respect because she doesn't fucking respect your bitch ass. You're just her second fucking child. You're her second son. Little Billy's her fucking second son. That's not freedom. Freedom is fucking motivation. Freedom is fucking discipline. Freedom is motherfucking power. Freedom is letting go so you can fucking grow. Freedom is being free from the bullshit in your past. The bullshit stories you keep telling yourself in your fucking head. Like, boo fucking who? Poor little me. Mommy and daddy didn't fucking give me enough attention. Boo fucking who? Get fucking free from those bullshit fucking stories you tell yourself in your head. It's time to put on your fucking big boy pants and get over that shit. You have a fucking family. You have kids that need fucking more, fucker. Imagine your kid seeing you go and asking your wife for permission. Is it okay if I can go and do this, honey? Is that okay with you? What the fuck? Holy shit. Holy shit. Fucking, your people, your people need fucking more from you. Your community needs more from you. Your fucking team needs more from you. Your, your company needs more from you. The fucking universe needs fucking more from you. Not this little bitch ass, Billy little bitch ass bullshit. They all fucking need more from you. When are you going to stop claiming these fucking daddy issues as your limiting factors in life or what's holding you back? Fucking your, your little childhood fucking traumas and issues. Like you are meant for a fuck ton more than that. So quit bullshitting. Quit claiming these fucking child daddy issues. You're fucking 30, 40, 50 years old, motherfucker. And already still, still blaming mommy and daddy. Like get the fuck over it. I remember back when I was a personal trainer, I was doing sales consultation with this, this nice young lady. And she had like 50, 50 or 60 pounds to lose. That's what we did in the gyms in New York. Help people lose, I don't even know, dozens of people lose over 100 pounds. Hundreds of people lose over 50 pounds. Thousands of people lose over 20, 30 pounds, literally. Tens of thousands of people getting results in the over decade that we were there in the health and fitness and personal development world. This woman came in, she had 50 to 60 pounds to lose. And she said she was struggling with her weight after her daughter was born. Oh, and, I, and you know, I'm get building that rapport. We're doing, we want to get, we get her to come in there. So I'm asking her daughter's name and how old she is. And she's like, oh, she's, four, she's uh, gonna be 14. So I said, oh, I remember that age. You're starting to walk and they're getting into breaking, getting into all kinds of shit. I remember my son was 14 months. He shoved a fucking uh, DVD into the PlayStation and ruined the PlayStation, something like that. She's like, no, 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 not 14 months, 14 years. I said, Bitch, you can't be claiming baby weight 14 fucking years later. And that's what you motherfuckers are doing. You're not free from your fucking bullshit from your past, from your childhood. You're holding on, fucking latching on to that. Latching on to fucking mommy's little nipple. Like, let go so you can motherfucking grow. Can't be blaming those daddy issues when you're 30, 40, and fucking 50. You have fucking work to do. You have work to do. And that shit is no longer fucking serving you. That shit is causing you to have zero fucking freedom. Zero fucking freedom. Be free from the bullshit from the past. Be, but also be free from the fear and the doubt of the future, of what's to come, the uncertainty. Be free of that bullshit. Who gives a fuck? You'll deal with that shit in the future the same way you're going to deal with fucking today with whatever comes at you. The same tools and resources and discipline and strategies and tactics you're going to deal with motherfucking today. You're going to deal with that shit in the future when it comes. So stop fucking stressing. Be free from that shit. Be free from the past. Be free from the, from the fucking future. That's freak focus leads to freak freedom. Freak focus leads to freak freedom. Freak focus is what can I do today? How can I make motherfucking today awesome? That is your freak focus. Focusing on right now. Fuck me. Fuck them. Fuck all the haters, the bitch ass losers, the fucking haters. Fuck me. It's not about me. Fuck yesterday. Fuck tomorrow. Freak motherfucking focus on right now is how you create freedom. Be free from the bullshit. Free. And then even free from the, the stress of right now and the stress of today. You're going to deal with it. You're going to get past it. You're going to get through it like you fucking did yesterday, like you're going to do tomorrow. Trust, trust your fucking self. Have confidence and belief in your ability to figure shit out. Because you stress things today and then you fucking miss it. And then you're in constant search of what's next. What should my next move be? What's the right move? Which, what, actually, you're going to miss what's next because next is right motherfucking now. And you're going to miss the right now. You're always going to be searching for right now because you're always fucking searching for it and you keep fucking missing it and wonder why you got this feeling in your gut. 
Like something's off. Like something's not right. Something's, you missed something. So you're never going to find it because you're always fucking missing it over and over again because you're constantly fucking searching for it. Constantly stressing on the past. Constantly worried about the fucking future. Constantly fucking anxiety about the fucking present. Let yourself be fucking free to be present, be aware, be intentional, and be full of fucking attention in this motherfucking moment. That is motherfucking freedom, I'll tell you that. How many motherfucks was that so far? I don't even know. I'm about to go back. How many motherfucks? Someone can tell me how many motherfucks were in this video. I'll send, I'm going to send you out a book. I have tons of books. I always keep a couple shelves of extra books, all my favorite books. I keep several copies of them for when I have visitors over for workouts. So I'm going to send you out a book. If someone can tell me how many motherfucks are in this video. We should have contests before each, each live show about how many F-bombs are going to be dropped in that, in that episode. Anyway, let yourself be free to be present and aware and full of attention and intention in this freaking moment. Because what else matters more than right fucking now? Yesterday don't fucking matter. Tomorrow don't fucking matter. You know why tomorrow don't matter? If you're not fucking focused on right now, tomorrow doesn't fucking matter. Tomorrow's gonna suck. I'll tell you that. If you don't fucking dig in to the right motherfucking now, dig your heels in and make shit happen. We'll plan for later. We will plan for later. But right now, you need to dive into the right fucking now. You know, we will deal with later when it gets here. And we'll deal with the same discipline and energy and confidence and attacking and violence that we are right now. Let that make sense. Make sense in my fucking head. Let it make sense in your head. Let it make sense. Just checking the comments here. I see some stuff scrolling. Adam from Canada. What's up, freak? He said 376. Does that mean mother Fs? Yes, 14 years. Holy shit. Yes, sir. 14 year baby weight. Anyway, freedom in the right now. Freedom in the right now. There's always something you can do right now. When you break free from your self-imposed fucking shackles physically, mentally, emotionally, and the prison, you trap yourself in your fucking head. You've heard it before. Discipline is freedom. Fucking energy is freedom. Confidence is freedom. Action and maximum effort and positive attitude is fucking freedom. Not taking shit too seriously and turn everything into fucking some kind of fun. That is fucking freedom. When you have the ability and the skill to just not let shit affect you too much and turn everything, you, could, you have the ability to turn anything into a fucking joke, have a little sarcasm or whatever, that's fucking freedom. That is fucking freedom. Not giving a fuck about the things and the people that don't fucking matter is fucking freedom. Not letting people suck your energy and waste your fucking time and distract you with all their bullshit, that's fucking freedom. Determining your own freak lifestyle and bringing it to a reality that's freedom freedom from oppression from society and fucking yourself holding yourself back holding your fucking self back make it freaking happen and and so freedom really is living your own i call it freak freedom lifestyle everyone talks about like vision and all this other stuff you got to have vision you got to have vision and it sounds cool and all, but what the fuck is vision? What the fuck is vision? I have a simple way for you to look at it, which will then make it easy for you to make decisions and know exactly what you need to do next and what to say hell no to. What to say fuck yes to and what to say hell no to. And it's all about your fucking lifestyle. It's all about your freak freedom. Your freak freedom lifestyle. The lifestyle you want to live, motherfucker. Whenever something comes along, you have to ask yourself, is this thing, this thing, whatever it is, this opportunity, this event, this task, this job, this project, this decision, or whatever it is, is this thing conducive and in alignment with the fucking freak freedom lifestyle that I want to live? That's all I have to ask. And it makes it such a clear yes or no. Is this, like in order to determine that you, what you, need, to, that you need to craft the exact lifestyle that you want, it's easy to determine if you should say yes or no to something. Is it in alignment with the fucking lifestyle? So you need to first off, obviously, know, have a clear idea. All right, what is the lifestyle I want to live? Like for me, I want to be able to bring my kids to school a couple days a week. I want to be home when my kids come home from school every single fucking day unless I'm traveling or we have a project. So a couple, maybe once a month, I'm not here when they're coming home from school. Other than that, I want to be home from, here when they get home from school. That's part of my life. And it is, I'm not going to go into my own personal lifestyle, but that's part of it. So even when, it, when something comes up, is that going to affect 
this part of my freak freedom lifestyle. And it's either a fuck yeah or a hell no when it comes down to it. And I'll tell you what, I've probably lost and turned down hundreds of thousands of dollars, probably even ended up being over millions of dollars from turning down opportunities, turning down different things that came along because it would have interfered with my freak freedom lifestyle. That's the way you need to think about it. Like what is your lifestyle you want to live? And then reverse engineer that. Reverse engineer it. For instance, maybe you want to sell your business for $10 million five years from now. Okay, first off, why do you want to sell it? What type of lifestyle would that give you? Why does it need to be $10 million? Why do you want that type of lifestyle you're describing? And if you want to sell it in five years, you have to make it sellable. Is it sellable? So within two years, you want to be completely maybe hands-off and have the business on autopilot. This is how you reverse engineer it. What do you need to do then month to month right now to start making that shit happen? What needs to be accomplished this month, this week to start moving in that direction? And are these things, are these things I'm doing on a daily basis, are they moving me closer or further from the freak freedom lifestyle that I'm looking for? And if something isn't a clear fuck yes, then it's a hell no. But you also have to go backtrack to some of the things I said there about all right, if you want to sell it in 10 years for, for, or five years for $10 million is the example we gave. Why $10 million? Why'd you come up with $10 million? Because it sounds fucking cool so you can go and say, boost your fucking ego and get all puffed up because you sold your business for $10 million or does it actually make sense because of the lifestyle you want to live? Maybe you can sell it for $3 million and still have the lifestyle you want to live with the investments, whatever else. So you don't need to have it for 10. So maybe you don't even have to wait five years. You can do it in three because really, you only really only need $3 million instead of $10 million. Because you start realizing why and realize, and knowing what your fucking lifestyle is, it makes everything so fucking clear and makes every decision, you have rapid decision. It's like maneuver warfare. You can overcome the fucking enemy much stronger because you make decisions fucking rapidly. Is it in alignment with my fucking personal freak freedom? And of course, is it moral? Is it ethical? Is it fucking legal? Does it go according to my core values? That goes without saying. So what needs to happen now? Reverse engineer that shit. It makes it fucking easy to make a decision on whether or not to take a task or a job or whatever. And again, it has to be along with your, your personal values, your core values and the project. We have the project creed. And you should have personal core values. You should have core values for your business. And you should have core values for your fucking family. We have the free code. That gives all this stuff leads to freedom. All these core values, it's all interconnected. At least in my fucking head it is. This is what freak freedom is. And then think, all right, what's the lifestyle I want to live? Maybe you want a private jet. Why do you want a private jet? Do you really want a fucking private jet? Do you really want a motherfucking private jet? Like, make sure that your lifestyle that you're looking for is your motherfucking lifestyle, and again, not someone else's. Just because you see some motherfucker in their private jet doesn't mean you need to have one. Don't get caught up in the fucking hype. Don't get caught up in the bullshit. If the lifestyle to acquire a private jet is going to make you have to deviate from the lifestyle you want to live, then fuck your private jet. Fuck your private jet. That's why I say, fuck me, fuck them, fuck yesterday, fuck tomorrow. Freak focus on right motherfucking now. That's freedom. That's freedom, brother. That is fucking freedom. If you don't give a fuck about that private jet, if I don't, all right, if I don't care about that private jet and I'm still living my ultimate freak desired lifestyle, I consider myself a shitload more successful, a shitload happier, richer, wealthier, and more motherfucking free than someone that might be making 10 times more money than me that's still in the rat race chasing for their stupid fucking private jet. I consider myself more powerful, more successful, happier, and fucking freer than that person. This is all what freedom is about, to not be that little bitch that needs to go ask for permission for everything in your fucking life. That's getting you nowhere. That's getting you nowhere. And it comes back into the projects. It's fucking all the time. You got the project little wristband there, the project tattoo. It's the logo back here in the back on the wall. It is everywhere because that's how much of an impact it's making on men's lives around the fucking world. And the exact reasons why most men need that is exactly what's going to keep them away from it. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. It's all about your freedom, the lifestyle that you want to live. Being free 
from what other fucking people are thinking about you. Being free about be always needing a, approval seeking. Being free from your fucking past and the boo fucking who poor little me childhood. Being free from the anxiety and the fear and the undoubt and the uncertainty in the future. Being free of all that shit. Even being free from the bullshit stories you fucking tell yourself. Free of the inner game. Free of the inner bitch. The fear, the doubt, the procrastination. Free to start living life on your own terms with your own real, true freak self-expression. That is freak fucking freedom. My favorite F word. It's not fuck. It's not family, fitness, finance, faith, or fulfillment. It's motherfucking freedom because freedom encompasses all of those. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. If you want some more information about the project, send me a message. We'll jump on the phone and see if you have what it takes to join the ranks of the MDK Brotherhood. And let me tell you this, once you graduate the project, you literally become part of an ongoing lifelong brotherhood of just hungry, successful, motivated, kick-ass men of fire that are like-minded from all different industries, from all over the country, from all over the world. So send me a message, we'll jump on the phone and see if you are a good fit and if you have what it takes, which most men do not because they wanna stay and live a life of average, a life of mediocre, a life of passive aggressiveness, a life of approval seeking. And they just are fine and going to ride out into the sunset and live a fucking average, ordinary, bitch ass life. Lacking the fucking actual personal freedom we're talking about in this video. So send me a message if you want to talk about that. If you need any other help with anything else, your fitness, your nutrition, your discipline, your personal development, send me a message. We can talk about it. I will talk to you later. You're fucking awesome. No excuses.